Collecting the historical evidence of Chinese sovereignty over the islands and reefs in the South China Sea. This has been the focus of Professor Wu Shichun's work for two decades. The more he studies, the more he believes China has the best basis of territorial claims. Manila's arbitration case is challenging China's historic rights of the dotted line claims. The dotted or nine dash line is closely related to sovereignty issues. Territorial issues are subject to general international law, not the UN Convention on the Law of the Sea. This institute has collected some rarely seen historical documents which trace a period of history that is not well known. Wu Shichun says there is no official definition, but consensus has been reached on what the dotted line means. The dotted or nine dash line is a line of ownership of the features and historical waters. It indicates China's claims of sovereignty of all the islands and reefs within the line and its historical rights in fishing, navigation and exploitation. This map was drawn by the Ministry of Interior of the Republic of China in 1946. The eight dashes mark what's known as China's traditional maritime boundary line. And this textbook published in 1936 marks the island groups within China's domain and China's southernmost boundary at Zongwu Ansha, known as James Shoal in the west at 4 degrees north latitude. Wu Shichun stresses that China was the first country to discover, name and control these island groups. The history of continuous use and exercise of authority spans over 2,000 years. This map identifies some island groups as Wanli Changsha, literally meaning long sandy banks tens of thousands of miles afar. They are marked as the territory of the Ming Dynasty. Wu Shichun says no other country can provide more definitive evidence to support a claim, but today the stakes are much higher. Due to various reasons, including the implementation of the UN Convention on the Law of the Sea, the pursuit of marine resources and the increasing U.S. pivot to Asia, the South China Sea disputes have developed from the original disputes of islands and waters to a geopolitical contest of politics and interests, resource exploitation and navigation control, involving both the claimants and the non-claimant states within this region and far beyond. Wu Shichun believes disputes over the South China Sea Islands and their adjacent waters are unlikely to go away in the near future. He says putting aside disagreements and seeking joint development would be a wise move. The sovereignty over the island features lies at the heart of the South China Sea dispute and may become a flashpoint in this region. China believes to discuss the competing territorial claims, one must inevitably dig into their history. And these historical documents from China may help provide the context in which the current tensions are unfolding. Han Bin, CCTV.